Oh my God. Did either one of you leak to the press any of this information about Kathy? No, no. I don't know how to do that. Tell I, I her. Don't do that. No. No. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sami Sam P, and today we're going to review the final episode of the last half of the Valley Hills. Let's get right into it. Okay, Garcel, I like the idea of a Birkin party. All the ladies coming with their Birkin, telling us how they're rich. And I'm just like, God, I see what you're doing for others. <laughs> Garcel is finally getting a Birkin. She's going to buy the yellow Birkin. Thing I did notice is Cal. You were talking too much. Kathy came over yesterday. Stuff going on. What happened? Oh. Things are nice being talked about over and over. Have you spoken to Kathy? My main question for that is, after your sister apologized to you, why do you go talk to Garcel, talk to Lisa Rina? Why are you talking about it again? I feel that from the time your sister apologized and you said thanks to her, you should have let go. But what I see of you is that it seems like you want to continue the conversation. You want to continue people to talk about it. And that is problematic. Do y'all think that Lisa Rina and Erica put this together? I think it's possible. I think it's very possible that Erica was tired of people talking about her within the show and decided that they want to use the opportunity of Cathy acting out in Aspen to kind of like not have the attention on her. I feel that Cathy probably did act out and they thought that this was going to have a bigger turnout, that people would talk about it more, but this is not what happened. And I think that they just true much more that they could handle when it comes to the Cathy situation. We do not see Cathy in the entire episode. And I understand, I understand her. She came, she apologized, she needs a breather. At this point, she knows the ladies are against her and it is what it is. We see Cal preparing a party for the Grace Kelly Foundation and she has all those earrings there. And my question is, where is security at? Like, there's literally no security out. And I'm like, those parties that they're throwing together honestly seem very dangerous to me. They're having like a million dollar earring, two million dollar diamonds just sat there in the entrance of the house. It was just sitting there, just sitting there, coming and take. And some of those things are like $2 million. I felt kind of weirded out. And especially when you know all the history of burglaries that are going on, especially in LA, I felt that those people are just taking unnecessary risks. Because yeah, maybe at the end of the night, they're going to come back and take the jewelry, but you probably have some of those jewelry at your house. Because if a company can trust you, to have millions of dollars in jewelry at your house for your people to just come and try and wear for that party, it means that y'all can probably afford it. It means that if there's a problem with that jewelry, y'all probably have the million dollar, two million dollar to repay. I just felt that this party was a risk. Really putting headline on how rich they are, which we know, we know they're rich, right? We know they're rich, they've been rich. This is season 12. It's just that I felt like this, this was so extra. But hey, I like to see rich people reaching. That's I guess I'm going to call it rich people reaching. Again, Cal is just talking to everybody. Did you hear from my sister? Did you listen? Your sister apologized to you. I feel like you could call your sister if you want to talk to your sister. She is your sister. Why are you talking left and right about a situation that should have been done by now i feel like at least if you want to bring it back again you should bring it back to say how lisa been trying to set your sister up and stuff but not always asking have you talked to my sister are you talking to my sister like what are you looking for carl i feel like carl likes to play victim and that is extremely dangerous so once again she's talking to garcel and garcel is telling her listen this is your sister like what are you doing you know what i mean like if Lisa is talking and doing certain things. You need to question Lisa about it because Lisa is your sister. And my opinion is that they're doing all of this because they do not want the attention on Erica no more. And in the case of Lisa, I think Lisa is just doing it for the love of the drama. Lisa saw an opportunity and she jumped on it and it didn't work out for her the way that she thought it was going to work out. What y'all think about it? So then Garcelle, and this is what I like about Garcelle because I feel like some, I feel like she's genuine, but at the same time, she's not going to miss an opportunity 
to bring the drama together but she do, does it in a very slick way so now she's bringing the ladies together and she's asking lisa rina why is lisa rina still talking about that situation who's not letting it go i'm talking to you two to who me too why do you have an attitude about this? I sense an attitude come. Is Garcelle really giving Rina an attitude or Rina is making that thing up? And I'm sorry if some people are going to be offended, but I always feel like whenever there's two person of different skin color, they like to say that us black women were being aggressive. And I'm like, where? Like, what is it in Garcelle that made you feel feel that she was being aggressive or whatever term you use and rina started defending herself talking about she hasn't said anything to anybody but that's the point you haven't said anything to anybody because nothing to say you made it clear that something happened and you want to keep the suspense but the problem is that you have no evidence of what you're trying to say and even if she said the stuff that you said that she said okay you will say that she said it but she can say no then what it's going to be you against scatsy you're trying to play smart, but once again, I feel like I see right through what you're doing. And then Kat, as usual, crying, being emotional, and I'm not burying it. Carl is an actress. You know she was a, car, a child actress anyway, so she's an actress. She still is. She still have the remnant of what she was doing as a child. And she likes to play victim a lot. And I'm kind of like a little bit tired about it because when the attention wasn't on Katy, you bring the attention on Katy. Carl really is the person that has been bringing the attention on Katy beyond the last episode. This should have been done last week, but this week we still see Carl talking about it and I feel like it's because Carl, Carl likes to feel like she's a victim she likes to play victim and really she didn't really give her sister and because she didn't really forgive her sister she kind of want people to feel bad for her and to go against Cathy this is what my opinion of Carl is let me all know what you think about it and that's it y'all for Real Aspen of the Valley Hills they give us the epilogue and everything. We learn that Diana did not a miscarriage. And I'm like, man, I feel bad for her. It's very difficult when you want to have children and you go through miscarriage. It's very, very painful. On this note, I will see you all next week for the reunion episode. I think it's going to be three episodes and you know your girl is going to be posted. So be there. And for those of you that are new, hey and i invite you to you know and for those of you that have been here with me supporting me thank you all so much and i will see you soon bye